Sir John, Lady Lorimer, on behalf of those assembled and the people of the Isle of Man, I extend to you a very warm welcome. Although, Sir John, you are the 31st person to have the honour to hold the position of Lieutenant Governor, I can say with some confidence that you are the first such holder to have been recruited virtually. <laughs> <laughs> Whilst I, for one, cannot say as I look back on the interview process with any great affection or enthusiasm, I am, and I speak for the whole selection panel when I say this, absolutely delighted with the outcome of the process. The other band has been very fortunate over the years with those who have served as the Queen's representative on our shores, but in you, Sir John, we have a Lieutenant Governor designate who is firmly out of the top draw. Indeed, when I discovered subsequently that you, Sir John, like me, are a long-term supporter of Leeds United <laughs> Football Club, I knew for certain that the correct choice had been made. We are, uh, I think both of us, however, somewhat perturbed at the uncertain start which Leeds have made <laughs> to the current Premier League um, season, but feel equally sure that, as with your term of office, the best is yet to come. <laughs> Your experience at the highest levels of the British Army, as well as both within Whitehall and internationally, will, I have no doubt, prove extremely beneficial to the Isle of Man, as we collectively face the many challenges which no doubt will come upon us over the next five years. So John, you and your family have arrived on the island at a time when our sense of community is stronger than ever. We are not alone, of course, in having experienced an unprecedented recent past. But it has been a time which has shown the island at its most resilient and compassionate best. You and your family are truly most welcome to our beautiful island home. You will, I hope, have time over the next five years to make friends, enjoy our natural environment, our unique and proud heritage, and the many cultural activities that we have to offer. Sir John, Lady Lorimer, welcome to the Isle of Man. Your Honour, Mr President, Captain Kelly, ladies and gentlemen, uh, friends of the mine. Um, it's wonderful to be here and uh, I can't tell you how much uh, we've been looking forward to, uh, to joining you here on the Isle of Man. Uh, we're in a, an interesting position at the moment. We're halfway through our 15th move in 27 years with kit going everywhere. So the prospect of uh, being in the same place for, for five years uh, is hugely appealing to both of us and also to our family. The, uh, the point you mentioned, the, uh, the virtual process that we went through, um, to be here in reality is wonderful. I should just say it's uh, uh, just under a month since you said goodbye to our predecessors, to the Gosneys, and uh, they did a marvellous job. They will be a tough act to follow. And I think from, from, from definitely from Philippa and my perspective, I'm sort of sure also from, from your perspective, we wish them the very best of luck as they, uh, they go into what I think is now their final retirement although one never knows with Sir Richard. Um, I also would just like to say, um, pass on our very best wishes to the Chief Minister. Um, that must have been a, a real shock to him and a real scare to him and to, um, to, to uh, uh, his wife and to um, the family. Uh, I sent him a note and said, please don't try and sneak back into your office. And I hear that he's already <laughs> already done that, so, um, but I wish him the very best of uh, health and to get, uh, get well soon. The appointment of uh, uh, Lieutenant uh, Governor is uh, hugely significant and um, I, I for one are looking forward hugely to uh, engaging with the community and you've already mentioned the importance of the community, uh, but also being the Queen's representative on the island and also to help promote the interests of the Isle of, Isle of Man. We shall approach all our duties, whether they're constitutional, ceremonial or community, uh, with, uh, with energy, uh, with humility, uh, with humour, but also with an overriding sense of responsibility for the appointment, this, uh, this ancient appointment. Uh, so to everyone here, 
uh, thank you very much indeed for uh, meeting and greeting and welcoming us here uh, to, to Government House. I should say that uh, the uh, Isle of Man Steam Packet Company did a fantastic job uh, and to thank them also for delivering us safely from Hesham uh, today. So finally, thank you once again uh, for uh, welcoming, us, welcoming us here today. Uh, we look forward immensely to the next five years. I know that it will be hugely exciting, but there is a slight sense of trepidation, I've got to say, this is new ground for both of us in more ways than one, but we're looking forward to it hugely and to, uh, to seeing everyone to be, be able to play our part within the community, to, uh, to obviously be uh, the act to see uh, uh, the Queen's representative on the island and also to promote the interests of the island. So thank you very much indeed. And I suppose I ought to say, Gura Mai Mura Yu. So thank you very much indeed.